So with Microsoft's continuing assault on beta testing their users by releasing buggy updates that break some features, I mean, Microsoft seems to break printers every other month at this point, which, you know, to be fair, nobody really cares about that much anymore, but I personally used to work at a school for a brief time, and they probably were printing, like, hundreds of pages each day, you know, because uh, they just needed to get, like, work papers and stuff done uh, for their students. Anyways, I had a pretty interesting discussion with someone yesterday about, like, is it actually possible for Linux to overtake Windows? Because Linux is steadily gaining popularity uh, in personal computing, uh, specifically with Chrome OS and uh, the new the new Steam OS, which are both Linux based. You know, uh, Linux is getting more and more popularized. And I mean, this is sort of the last holdout of where Linux has not taken over yet. You know, Linux obviously controls the server space; they control the mobile space with. Android and you know I mean overall it's just sort of a, a better system because Linux is open source so pretty much any random developer can look at the code and go through it instead of it all being locked down and controlled by one company you know because there's been a lot of speculation for many years now with Microsoft just adding various backdoors spyware you know just having general privacy concerns within Windows you know and Linux that doesn't really happen because when a new update is released, you know, there's literally thousands of random developers that, you know, don't really get paid anything. They just look at the code because they just want to look at the code, you know. It's it's a very nice community. And the big problem with Linux was that it was just too complicated. You know, some things you just have to do through the command prompt and stuff like that, which normal users are really just never going to do at this point. But Chrome OS and Steam OS are becoming very increasingly popular, you know, and Steam obviously has their translation layer so you can run Windows apps on Linux, which is obviously great. The real problem still, I think, is going to be just how much control Microsoft has over businesses, you know, because businesses have tons of old software that is made to run on Windows and only on Windows. I can speak from experience. The popular way to program these days is to use some sort of a platform that's very easily made cross-platform or, you know, you make a data management app with like databases and stuff uh, that opens up in a browser because that's just sort of the new way, the new norm of doing things. Not to mention that Microsoft still sponsors tons of businesses and schools with their licenses and their software. So everyone is sort of locked into their ecosystem because of that as well. But I don't know. It's a very interesting question, you know, because people are frustrated with Microsoft. Microsoft doesn't really seem to care. They're still sort of like, you know, they're sort of like Intel was when AMD wasn't all that competitive, you know, they just released very incremental updates to their processors and such. And then when AMD finally came out with Ryzen, then they actually stepped it up. So it would be interesting if Microsoft keeps going down this pathway, how many people are actually going to get frustrated and literally start switching to Linux. And once that sort of starts happening like a lot, then it could be really possible that we would be going to Linux. So just just a fun little thought that I had, you know, um, and yeah, just wanted to share it. So that's it and hope you have a nice day.